What's happening, y'all? Um, out here shooting my 20th movie. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys about fighting for your dreams. Um, hold on, let me show you something. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about fighting for your dreams. Um, I have an awesome team that um, works with me now. Uh, not even for me, <laughs> but they work with me. And um, we go through the emails and uh, we do a lot of research on our fans because we're about to build something that I don't think hip hop has ever seen. Um, we're about to do some amazing things with our fans and I'm gonna start focusing in on my fans. Like we, people are always trying to go out and be global and, you know, work on everything but the people who are supporting and building with them. So um, I wanted to talk to y'all about a particular letter that I saw. Um, this young lady hit me in she said that uh, she was contemplating committing suicide and uh, she had came or stumbled across one of my Facebook posts. Uh, I think it was the one about depression. And um, she said it stopped her. First of all, I wanted to tell her that um, I'm humbled to have had that type of effect on you. And um, it's probably you know, one of the greatest compliments that anybody could ever pay. But I, I, I wanted to tell you a story. I wanted to tell you guys a story that my mom told me. My mom told me, she said um, she used to work for Social Security. And she had this older guy who told her this intricate story about this woman that he was actually his ex-wife who had done something to him. And he had literally put a noose around his neck and he was about to jump and at the last moment he decided not to he went on ended up getting a new wife having four children and at the end of the story my mom asked him well what's the lady name that you almost committed suicide over and the man said because at that time I think he was like 75 the man said I don't remember so the way that I'm tying this in to my post today about fighting for your dreams, you have to fight for your dreams and fight for your life. Like the thing, the things and the people that you think are important right now will probably mean nothing to you in 10, 20, 30 years. You know, a lot of times we're fighting, fighting against our own ego and the fact that we're hurt. But like, to be honest with you, anybody who will hurt you is not worth your time or your life or your dreams. So we're not even going to worry about these people. So post today, fighting for your dreams. Listen, I'm from Mississippi. My own family told me that I couldn't make it, that I couldn't do it, that I couldn't be the first. And... I've always been strange. My Uncle Swag told me I'm peculiar. You feel me? I've always had vision. God has always blessed me with vision. And like I always tell you, being a visionary is a blessing and a curse. You're blessed to see things other people can't see, but you're cursed to sit in it alone. So all these people are hating and all these people are saying these bad things about you because in most cases they hate themselves. So I want to show y'all what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Say what's up to the people on Facebook Live, man. Hey, how y'all doing? Go ahead, shoot, shoot. What's, what's the name? What we we'll be doing? Come on, hurry up. I never heard my father speak, baby. Look at it. Look for it. Coming in theater soon, baby. I never heard my father speak. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, oh, I can't show. I shouldn't have showed y'all that. Y'all gonna end up showing up. Uh. So I want y'all to see this. This is so amazing. It's about fighting for your dreams. That makes sense. I don't know. Say what's up to Facebook Live. Yo, what's up, Facebook Live? <laughs> Say, break yourself, fool. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of my face, Facebook Live. What? 
<laughs> All right, you cool. All right, you Brothers cool. Brothers got smashed. One he up. smashed his part <laughs> yesterday, yo. Oh, come on. Do that line for me again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Awesome director. <laughs> He's taking over, y'all. Uh. So, a lot of times when y'all see sets, you think they're these big, intricate places. Sometimes, they're just little rooms, right? But that's similar to what I'm telling y'all. Like, we think these things are so big, and we think these things are so intricate, when a lot of times, it's just this. Watch this. Oh man, they cut the lights off. Y'all can't even see. Like, this shit is so amazing. And from what I came from, like, I'd have never been able to imagine I'd have been able to do some of the things that I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Hey, look, now we're in the bedroom. Y'all can do anything that y'all think of. I don't think that God is such a cruel God that he, she, or it will let you think something that you couldn't obtain. But are you man or woman enough to go get it? I honestly think the only thing that you should be blessed with is the thought. Once you have the thought, it's on you. You feel me? I'll show y'all again once uh, everything lights back up. But um, I was watching Plies, and Plies said some real dope shit. He's like, don't come to me and tell me what nobody said about me. Don't bring that ne negativity into my life. I told my little cousin at the Stanbrook Cave in Mississippi, he was like, man, so-and-so. I was like, bruh, I wouldn't know so-and-so exist if it wasn't for you. So you have to fight for your dreams. Fight for your dreams like you fight for your life. As if somebody was holding you underwater. You feel me? I ain't got time for your negativity. I don't, get, I don't have time for your lack of self-esteem. Take that shit somewhere else. Go get a therapist. Right now we're trying to build our brains. Like, y'all, I watch what I listen to. I watch what I drink. I watch what I eat. And I especially watch what comes into my eyes. They say the eye is the doorway to the soul or the portal to the soul. You have to, you have to guard that. Like it's the last day of your fucking life. You feel me? So all these haters and all these motherfuckers with all this depressing shit. You know, I even watched like about a month ago, I watched social media get so fucking depressing. Like everybody hating and Everybody fighting against each other. It's enough fucking paper out here for all of us. We fucking hating on each other, man. When in actuality, if if we got together and, and held it together together, like we we can control the flow of money. You know, give each other opportunities. Today, man, I think I I, I gave a really big opportunity to one of my uh, one of my employees. He came up with a dope idea. He didn't have the bread to pay for it. Fuck it, dog. Let's chop it up. I'll pay for the shit. And when this shit does what it does, it's going to change his whole fucking life. And do you know how that feels to be a part of changing somebody's life? So instead of hating, we could be spending this time on helping people move forward. And think about this. The uh, biggest example I give people of this is common. I was like, imagine if Common would have been mean to Kanye. Like, that B album that Kanye did for Common changed his whole fucking life, bruh. Like, that's what we need to be doing is building instead of destroying each other. And the people that you don't like, if you don't like them, don't say shit about them. Like, I used to, I used to think about, about that about all them hating motherfuckers that be hating on me. Dog, if you hate me, don't use my fucking name. Don't say my fucking name. But you're using my name in a negative way because you still want to jack off of it. You feel me? If you hate me so much, don't speak my fucking name, coward. But what people really want to do, they're not man or woman enough to come and ask you for help. So they hate. Well, bitch, you still using my name. 
Sorry, y'all, I got pretty angry right there, didn't I? I was telling y'all all that positive shit, and I reverted back to the old Dave Banner. No, time out, time out. <laughs> but, um, I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all. And, um, I'm having so, so much fun. Um, and to all the people who have been wondering uh, when the God Box is coming out, I finished the last song. It's coming out real soon. By the way, uh, me and Console Kings got together and made some stickers uh, for the iMessage. Go pick it up right now. Support me. Uh, I'm doing so, so many amazing fucking things, y'all. And um, I'm happy. I'm very, 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 very happy. And um, I don't know what else to say. That's it. Anybody got a quick question? Huh? 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 Hello. Oh. Oh. Bet you ain't noticed how skinny I, how much weight I'd have lost in about four days, huh? <laughs> when I come back to the south, I'm gonna be rocked up in this bitch. I've been taking time, like, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to give this last little piece of advice and then I'm out. Whenever you're going through little stages of depression and you're going through little moments or what, what Christian people call a valley, um, use that as a moment of clarity. Like, you know, these 12 days that I'm shooting this film, I said I'm only, for, for the most part, eating soup and salad. That's it. Reading. That's all I'm doing. So and working out so when I get through this valley or whatever I'm doing or this project I can come out with a symbol so like let's say if you're going through some depression and some hard times okay well I accept Lord that this is what I'm going through I'll take that but while I'm in it I'm gonna pump this iron I'm gonna run so when I come out of it I'll be like look at look at what I got out of my valley you sexy motherfucker Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I don't know if y'all see what I see, but uh <laughs> I'm a motherfucker boy. Men, turn away. Ladies. I love y'all.